we are checking out the Better Bedrock client, which is great for Minecraft players who like to play survival, creative servers, or PvP. You can even give yourself a sussy Among Us crosshair, which you can make RGB like this. This was created by AM Bro. I'll leave a link down below as to where you can check them out along with the download link. But highly recommend going to their Discord page if you want to download it. Once you've downloaded it, head into settings and scroll down to your global resources. It should be in my packs. Make sure you activate this. Double check your active section and make sure it's there. All you want to do is back out, wait for the resource pack to load and you should be faced with this. The background is slightly animated, zooming in and out. However, there is some alternative backgrounds, which can be selected on the top left. So by default, it's BB background. The next one is animated background, which is like a, a downpour. The next one after that is the nether background. After that, we have a night background, and there's a default background, and you can even introduce your own background if you wanted to. Top left is your name. Next to that is show or disable skin. Of course, that's just completely up to you. But I think it looks pretty cool with it enabled. On the bottom, we have feedback. We have achievements. We have marketplace. We have cosmetics. And we have the status. It even tells me that I have six realms notifications. Next to that, we have cosmetics, which is going to give you the ability to customize your skin. The settings button was replaced by options. Now, when you go in here, one of my favorite things with this is the change log section. This is going to tell you every single thing that was added during each version. So obviously the latest one is version five. So all of these features have been added for everything that's available within this client is all posted here. Feel free to read it if you would like. Like other clients that we have checked out, it does have a quick setting. This is going to be for mobile users. You've got first person view, third person back, and third person in front. It's just a quick settings option. Checking out the video section, this is everything you need down to your brightness, hood opacity, FPS, your GUI scale, your render distance. Also down here is all your options that you're going to have available. Now, I like the fact that they're all in one area but I don't like the fact that they're all kind of climbing on top of each other. Sometimes makes it a little bit difficult to read. When loading in for the first time, you will have a pop-up. And all that's doing is telling you if you want to access the mod menu is to double tap on menu. Whether you're using keyboard and mouse, controller, or touch, you just need to double tap. And this is also going to pop up, giving you every single feature that you need to know about. Now, one thing I noticed with this, which is quite annoying to be honest with you, is there's a giant wall of text on the top left of your screen. Now, it's great to know your coordinates, great to know your game mode, your device, etc. However, for me, I'm not a fan of that. So if you want to get rid of it, go into your settings and double tap on menu. You want to scroll down until you see the debug menu. Just simply disable it. Let me start off with my favorite feature within this client. So in your menu, tap on this. So inside of here, this is the crosshair preview. So you're able to fully customize and change your crosshair like the Among Us one that I did show you at the start of the video. So you've got custom presets where you are able to import your own custom presets. So if you wanted to make one, you could do that there. We also have HD presets. So let's say we did this one, for example. It's going to give you a preview there showing you in a tiger biome, showing you what it looks like in the nether showing you what it looks like in the forest. And yes, you can turn on RGB. So let's say like you are in a tiger. Yeah, it looks fine in a tiger. Yeah, it's gonna look fine inside the nether. It's gonna look fine inside of a forest. You would then back out and then you then have this, which I think is crazy. And then obviously you can go into a uh, third person behind as well. And you can see this like from behind rather than just seeing it in this first person perspective. This is such a good feature. I do like this. To me, the RGB is a little bit too much. I think it's really cool, but it would be too distracting to play with. So you can just turn it on or off as much as you like. You can customize sizes as well. So this one's going to be really, really big. Well, let's go through some of the presets because like I said, if you wanted a sussy Among Us one, you could do that. You can even have a heart as well. We make the heart one a little bit bigger here. So you can see how big this one is like, I love you, Mr. Cow. And then I was like, all right, then let's let's add some RGB to this one. We'll go color. 
I wish there was some standalone colors, though. You know, I love the RGB effect, but I wish you could have like a solid red one or a solid blue one. But I can say that I love the cows. I've disabled all of the mod options. So let's go through them one by one. Starting off with the armor hood. You've seen this many times. Once enabled, it's going to show you the armor on the right hand side. By the tap of a button, you can disable or enable this as much as possible. You also have direction hood. Now, this one is going to show you your bearings. This one I haven't seen before in a client. Now, one thing I will say about this is that in order for me to activate this, I do need to be in crouch mode. It is also quite big. I would love for it to be a little bit smaller, but I've never seen this before. So I really, really like this one. I don't got to get a map up and check my directions. I can be like my friend that I'm currently south facing 180. So this is a very big game changer for me. The direction hood also has a second settings menu. So you can enable sneak only mode or enable sneak only mode. So once you're sneaking, it shows you your bearings, etc. Next up, we have the offhand slot. Once enabled, you're going to see this little thing on the bottom left. And then you can change this by obviously displaying what looks like this. So you can see next to my uh, hotbar slot, we do have the totem of undying. When you enable the main hand slot, what this is going to do is when you hover over a specific item, we're using diamonds on the right hand side of your hotbar, it's going to tell you the specific item and how many you have. We also have the tools hood. This is one of my favorite ones, especially for survival. On the top right, you're going to see your compass and your clock. It's going to show you the time of day and your compass is going to show you your spawn location. Pretty standard in a lot of these clients. Next, we're checking out waypoints. This is really impressive. So once you enable this, go back to your game. You then want to crouch and look down at the ground. It says creating waypoint. It now says creating waypoint, jump, uh, punch and jump. So you want to just jump and punch and it's going to create like a beacon beam for you. This is super cool. I've never seen this one before either. Just for reference, this does stay rendered in for a very long time. So if you lost something or you found a spawner and you wanted to go back, it will stay available for a long time. Next, we have quite a few options. We have status hood. And what this is going to do is tell you what you're doing. So if you're standing, it's going to tell you that you're standing. There's also a speedometer, which is going to tell you how fast you are going. There's also a soup counter and a totem counter, and a potions counter. So I currently have one totem inside of my inventory, but watch, as I grab myself more totems, so as you can see, it starts to tell me how many I have. If we grab ourselves, let's say, potion of... Let's go with splash potions here. We're going to go with a splash potion of fire resistance. It's going to tell me how many I have inside of my inventory. But focusing on the other things, like speed is telling me how fast I go, which is like, I don't know, we're going... All the way up to 14 there. We're now going quite slow, which is 1.2. And I'm sneaking. is telling me that I'm jumping. Speedrunners, this one is for you. Session timer. So when you enable this, it's going to tell you your current session time. So it's telling me that I've been in this Minecraft world for four minutes. Which, again, it goes up minute by minute. It's not the milliseconds. So if you were doing a speedrun, it's not 100% accurate. It would be like five minutes or six minutes or seven minutes, etc which I think is pretty cool. Also, you can keep track of how long you're no lifing Minecraft for. Also available is a day counter along with a day time counter. So as you can see in the bottom left, we're currently on day zero and it's currently 45% of this specific day complete. That is because I have specific cheats enabled. But if we were to change the time, so we do forward slash time set Let's do midnight. It's going to tell me that it's currently midnight and we've now gone past one day. And for the next day, we're at 0%. So if I was to do force us time set and we did, let's say noon again, it's going to say 50% of that day. There is a client option. Not sure what that's for, but there is also a durability, which again, I think is great. Along with an item orcs ID. And what this is going to do is tell you the specific item ID that you have. So I currently have a grass block, which is the ID version 131072, which if you wanted to keep an eye on what specific blocks were called, then you could do that. It's not really a big thing for me, though. Like other clients on the right hand side of your hotbar, it is going to tell you the durability of your specific item. I'm going to get this below 50 and then to 10 percent. 
and see if the color changes. This one's really cool. When you do get past 50%, you'll notice that the color changes. I'm going to do this in real time here and get this to like, yeah, there you go. We're now in the red zone. So it's like, hey, Echo, it's going to break. And if it's your diamond or your netherite stuff, then you're going to have to be a lot smarter. Also available are chat options. When you tap on the settings, this will pop up. You can have your text on the bottom. You can have it smooth. You can have it show. So let's keep it where it is. And let's just be like, hello, YouTube. And you'll notice that when we back out, it's on the bottom left like it would be on Java Edition. Gamma setting. This is good if you're going to do some caving. We also have hotbar, which is going to put numbers on your hotbar. I'm not a fan of this because I specifically know that a hotbar is one to nine. But let's say you had a specific weapon in your fifth slot. You could just then tap your fifth key or tap on the fifth slot. Also, you have coordinate options, effect icons, and paper doll. Along with this one, which is meant to get rid of the black border around your screen. And then you've also got this mobile mods button. Again, you can mess around with these. And even a recovery compass, which again is on the top right. So if you died, you can go and find your specific location without even needing the recovery compass. There is also an additional menu. It's the bottom one here, which is the name tag. So you've got boss bar, a few different options inside of here. Scoreboard, you've got title, subtitle, you've got tip, you've got action bar. So these are just default settings that you can all access just via in-game. Got to admit, the custom crosshairs are really fun to mess around with. So go and check it out for yourself. Full credit goes to the creator. Again, this is also supported on servers, on realms, on multiplayer, and in single player. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.